Hello everyone to the first Dune 2000 mission editor, AI editor actually, because this time, as I promised in the first, um, or actually the second part of the editor tutorial, or rather review, I, I told you that I was going to work on the AI editing part of this program, which is just awesome. You have pretty much every single segment of, I mean, every function from the AI uh, section in the game that AI.CPP or whatever the file name was so you can use uh, pretty much all these functions to create your own AI or even edit an existing one so for the first part of this tutorial I'm going to go as fast as I can over the functions that are known to have uh, certain effects on the game and also the functions that you actually need because you see there are billions here and you are not going to use not even not even a few of them I mean you're only going to use a few of them because that's that's how things are going so the first one player number if we scroll here to the sides we can see that every player gets his own number so you don't really have to touch that honestly then you get the AI enabled so if you want to for the site to have an AI you're gonna have to put it on one because otherwise your the site will not have any AI no matter how many settings or f or functions you activate from from here the bottom uh, it's not going to do anything unless this one is on set to one enable practice this one pretty much tells you I mean tells the AI if he can build buildings and how does he build buildings well we are going to cover that later and probably in a complete separate tutorial because yes you can actually change the build order you are not forced to uh, stick with the normal practice AI you can actually make them build a light factory before even a barracks or something like this or we can even um, force them to get the palace after I mean as soon as possible get the X resource center the factory and then the palace you can do all sorts of stuff but we're not gonna cover that right now buy units this is uh, if they can not produce units but buy them from the starport so if you set this to zero then the AI will not buy any units from the starport however the free reinforcements starport reinforcements events would work but the AI will not bu uh, buy units from the starport on its own upgrade buildings pretty self-explanatory if you set it to zero the AI will not upgrade any buildings don't sell I guess I'm not really sure because I didn't use it but I believe it's the uh, you know in the practice they usually sell buildings once you I mean they they sell their entire base once the the production structures are down so I guess that's a don't sell one I'm I'm not sure about this if anyone knows please correct me squish infantry this tells them if they can run over infantry with vehicles that are actually have this ability guard buildings if they actually gonna probably defend the base most of these functions are pretty unknown or their effects were not really tested because most of them you don't actually need them that much uh, recognize threat I don't know what this is repair units if uh, the AI can use the repair pad repair guarding units I guess if the base defense units will be repaired I guess airlift and attack I just have I just believe that this one refers to uh, to the fact that they can actually use carriers to take units from the field or from the battle and then return them to the base to repair them but I'm not sure I believe this is what this function is doing rebuild buildings if you set it to zero then it's not going to rebuild anything no matter if he has a construction yard if you set it to one and you give him a construction yard or he builds a construction yard or anything like this he's going to rebuild the buildings uh, to of course to a certain amount of them until if you destroy like one billion of their base they will not remember uh, the entire base so they will only rebuild the few very high priority on their list like barracks and refineries harvesters per refinery 
this is pretty important. You actually control the amount of harvesters they have per each refinery, which is the, the name is pretty self-explanatory, but anyway. Normally you would have two harvesters per refinery, and in a practice match, the AI builds three refineries, so you have three multiplied by two, you get six harvesters and three carriels as uh, the AI builds one for each refinery. But you can easily change these to get to give them a much better economy or to make them suck even more depending on what you want in your mission first attack building delay and time between building attacks these are related to um, the, the attacks how often does the AI attack you and we're gonna cover this in a later tutorial because I'm gonna do separate tutorials about uh, the most important function functions attack building strength protect and de defense strength I guess these are related to the amount of units they uh, set in a task force and attack force I'm not sure most of these functions aren't really you know you can you don't know exactly what they do but you can assume what they would what they do squeeze range honestly this is just like intuitively related to the amount of uh, cells I guess I'm not sure that the AI scans for infantry to squish I'm not I'm not sure three percentage no idea emergency build rate uh, is the, the you know the how fast the computer is building when uh, he's under attack or his base is really getting destroyed uh, setting it to one one being the smallest value means they're gonna build the fastest they can and I'm not sure but this might be measured in ticks, game ticks so this might be one game tick which means they are forced to produce non-stop max attack unit groups and pretty much I'm gonna show you this later it's related to the attack groups yeah if you ever assigned AI to your own side in a mission and have AI control your base then you would re you would notice that <clears throat> the AI is numbering your units in different control groups and a few of them are actually used for attack like 3 and 4 and 6 I believe uh, yeah max protect groups well pretty much all these are kinda I don't really know how, what to tell you about these because uh, they're not really known you know so people don't really know what these are doing attack building random percentage build unit random percentage gonna go ahead and try to find those that I know and that we know building repair thick special weapon delay I've seen this one being used a lot I'm not sure but it could be that the AI delays using his um, his uh, super weapon for the first time please if anyone knows about this one please do write down a comment because I've seen it in Westwood missions it was really used and the value differs in every mission pretty much even for sites who do not have a super weapon so I don't know uh, morale airlift percentage unit build rate this is extremely important so yeah as I told you I believe this is in game fix so we got the emergency build rate this one is the you know the constant not attacked uh, build rate so if you set it to 1000 I believe game ticks that would be like I don't know how many seconds or or you can do the math if you want I'm really not not in the mood of this but if, if you put it like uh, 200 only it's gonna produce much faster providing they have money of course if you put it to 6000 then they are gonna be very very slow pretty much protect ticks, defend ticks, no idea there are a lot of functions here that we don't really know what they do cash stash um, they are probably this means I'm not sure but I believe they are not going to repair buildings below 180 credits they won't repair units, build harvesters, build carriers, build buildings or units. All these morales are pre pre unknown to me. Guess this is uh yeah, the prior pre self explanatory. I'm not sure if they work though, because there are many functions that do nothing even if you change values for them, or at least that you don't see. Tag building priority, if you set it I mean did you notice that in some of Westwood missions 
the, the AI goes with trikes and shit directly to your construction yard, ignoring everything in your way, in his way, I mean. Well, that's being done with this attack building priority, so the construction yard gets a, a pretty high value, so that's why that's happening. Time before rebuilding, self-explanatory once again. Build ratio is actually uh, the priority for each building. So if you set this one, uh, let, let's see. If you set, where is it? Heavy factory to something like um, 50, then that's gonna build the heavy factory as soon as uh, he can. So I believe that's a, after the refinery. So it's gonna skip over the normal barracks behavior. So this is how you change the build order of the AI, but we're not gonna cover that. I'm gonna do a separate tutorial for that one. Oh shit. Max buildings. Let's say you want three heavy factories. You just type in three. And that's it. Attack site priority. I thought this would be pretty self-explanatory, but honestly, I tried to play with these values, increasing them up to 99, and I didn't see any sort of difference. So the AI acted the same way, didn't focus on a site as this would tell you. So yeah, they probably don't work. Unit build priority, this is the same as will the buildings. However, you, you can uh, tell the AI what units to build more than the others. So for example, if you if you give a siege tank a value of, I don't know, 80 or 90, it's gonna mostly build siege tanks from the weapons, fa from the uh, heavy factory, and it's gonna barely build any other heavy vehicle from it, probably like one in um, in 100 or something, it's pretty crazy. And if you put it to zero, like we can see, actually we can see, but uh, um, in uh, the original missions they have engineer for example set to zero so that the AI never builds engineers and you probably did notice that in the Westwood missions. Uh, pretty unknown ones. So yeah, I guess these are pretty much the the important ones that I mentioned here, and they're pretty much what you really need in order to get a in order to get an AI. So I'm gonna return with more um, with more AI tutorials, and I'm gonna actually make a new AI with you guys so you can see how to use this uh, this amazing editor. So yeah, see you with the next tutorial.